Lightsaber duels are undoubtedly one of the coolest parts of Star Wars. I mean, as kids, we saw this and immediately begged our parents for those plastic lightsabers to reenact the Phantom Menace. That is until I accidentally smacked my brother's fingers. But the point is, lightsaber duels have always had a special place in my heart, and I'm sure you as well. But sadly, good lightsaber duels are hard to come by these days. It's widely accepted by the community that the prequel battles are better than anything that has come after. For the most part, I agree with this, but let's find out why. Why do lightsaber duels suck now? Before I start ripping into the sequel movies like every other Star Wars nerd, I'm actually going to talk about what I liked from these fights. First off, the lightsaber effects look better than ever. In the prequel films, the light blade was added in post, which is cool but ignores the most important aspect of the lightsaber, the light. Even as a kid, I always wonder why the lightsabers in those movies never actually lit anything up. Nowadays, they actually use glowing blades during production, so the actors are being lit up by the brightness of the saber. And anyone who owns a lightsaber knows how bright these things are. It's blindingly bright at times. Like you know when Rey ignites her saber in that cave to see? Yeah, that's not how that works. It's much more realistic in Obi-Wan. Dude is straight up blinded by blue light when he ignites it. Anyways, I also love the modern sound design of lightsabers. Different lightsabers have a unique sound set. I don't know, I think that's pretty cool. I know lightsaber sound design is not a new concept, but with more lightsabers being added to the canon, I think it provides a nice touch to the character wielding the blade. And the last thing I like about the modern duels is how tired the fighters get. I actually like that Rey and Kylo show fatigue throughout their fights. It makes it a little more realistic and rough. But alright, that's pretty much all the good things I have to say about the newer duels, so let's get into the real reason why you're watching this video. Let's talk about why these new lightsaber duels belong in the f***ing trash. Nah, I don't actually think that. I do think there are three main reasons why these fights suck. The speed and pacing, the production value of the duels, and the emotional weight in the fights. But first, let's talk about speed. Humans like to go fast, and we also like to watch things fast. So it only makes sense that we'd favor the fast-paced fight scenes from the prequels over the sequels. It makes sense canonically too, I mean, these duels happen during the height of the Jedi Order and include some of the most skilled Jedi in the galaxy, whereas Rey just picked up a lightsaber 30 minutes ago. But it's not just about how fast they move during the duels, it's the pacing of the duel itself. A good fight should be like a great song. It should start out small and build up to a great crescendo with moments of silence in between. I like to compare the pacing in any fight scene to anime fights, specifically what I like to call the anime leap. The anime leap is when a character goes 0 to 60 in 2.5 seconds. Actually, it's like way less than that. Like when Tanjiro leaps into battle or when Naruto beats Sasuke's ass for the first time. You know when the side character goes, oh, yeah. yeah, the pacing from such a slow movement to such a fast one, or vice versa, just hits the spot and makes fight scenes way more dynamic. Obviously, humans can't move like anime characters. I mean, can you imagine Obi-Wan just like, Actually, that looks pretty sick, but it doesn't really work. Many live action films achieve this speed ramp using slow motion, which is also used in anime. However, this doesn't always work as intended and can come off as tacky. I love the emotional significance of this fight, but what the f*** is this? It just looks cheap and there's no reason for it being here. Slow motion in anime is more justified because at least we get to hear the character's thoughts at that moment. So if you can't use slow motion, how do Star Wars duels achieve the anime leap effect? Just change how fast the characters fight in real time. For example, Anakin's leap to save Obi-Wan, the mini monologue Grievous gives before Obi-Wan yeets him, or the force battle between Obi-Wan and Anakin. Hell, even this shit from Rise of Skywalker was pretty sick. I'm not saying the prequel fights are all paced perfectly, but somewhere throughout time, it seems like the people filming these duels just lost their touch. Which leads me to the lack of production value. I'll be honest, the people making these newer duels aren't doing it right. When I say the production value is bad, I'm mostly referring to how these fights are shot and edited. The costuming, set design, and lighting are not what I'm criticizing here. Though honestly, what the hell was that lighting during the final duel in Obi-Wan? Actually, let's stay on this fight to talk about the camera. Was the camera operator riding a ripstick while shooting this? Shaky cam has never looked good in fights. While we're on Obi-Wan fights, let's also discuss music. Specifically in this show, where is the iconic music during these emotional duels? The prequels had some absolute bangers during their duels, and I guess they just didn't want to reuse any of it? Like, we don't care, man. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Just give us back Duel of Fates, please. Conversely, the addition of music can damper a duel, such as this. But it's not the music or the shaky cam that ruins a duel. 
it's the cuts. Why, for the love of God, are there so many cuts in these fights? In this 22 second clip of the Dooku fight, there are only 9 cuts, and that's mostly just them talking in between clashes. Compared to this 15 second clip of non-stop fighting from Rise of Skywalker with 12 cuts, it basically cuts every 1.25 seconds. And it's not that it cuts a lot that bothers me. Well, it kind of does. But it's the fact that it cuts to shit I don't need to see. Like, why do I need to see this angle or a close-up of just these lightsabers? When watching a fight, I like to see the whole thing. Like, you wouldn't watch a real fight wearing binoculars. This is just general advice for any fight scene, but let the audience see the whole fight. Let me see the punches and the reactions in the same frame. This has been a problem with American films for years now. Compare it to foreign martial arts films, which are by far much more entertaining to watch than this crap. And it's also why this is so damn good. Because it was made by people who know how a duel should look. Let's be honest though, the real reason they have to fix it in post with cuts is because the actors aren't professionally trained in sword fighting. I know Daisy and Adam trained for several months in preparation for their fights, but it's nothing compared to the years of commitment people like Ray Park and Lauren Marie Kim put into their craft. And it obviously shows in the final product. Even Liam Neeson stated he had experienced sword fighting prior to The Phantom Menace. And as for Ewan McGregor, well, this man can do no wrong. Nah, but I see behind the scenes footage of Ewan training, and I can see a spark of passion in his eyes that I can't find in Daisy. Ewan's dedication both behind the scenes and in the films make people root for him. It makes the audience emotionally attached to him and his fight. And this may be the biggest reason why these newer lightsaber duels suck. There's no emotional connection with these fights. It's just two people fighting. And that's it. Watching Rey vs Kylo in Rise of Skywalker for the first time, I just didn't f***ing care. I don't care about Rey, Finn, I care about Kylo a little bit but not enough to make me root for anyone. Compared to this, a renowned Jedi Master desperately trying to bring his beloved apprentice back to the light, but eventually realizing there's nothing he can do but fight to the death. To this day, every time I hear Obi-Wan say, You were my brother, Anakin! I loved you! My eyes well up a little. Hell man, this premise was so good, it worked twice! Sure, the final fight in Obi-Wan had its flaws, but I was still crying on the inside when this happened. I understand the sequels tried to make it work with their characters, but they ultimately failed. No one cares about Rey, no one cares that she's the chosen one, no one can get behind her motivations. Granted, not all the prequel fights are emotionally thrilling, but they still had cooler characters that we could all get behind. And even if a duel isn't edited properly or choreographed great, the people will still love it if we have someone to genuinely root for. You know what? As a fun little exercise, let's take our knowledge of a good lightsaber duel and analyze the best lightsaber duel of all time. Obi-Wan vs Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace. If you thought it was anything else besides this, there's the door. This fight is the pinnacle of lightsaber duels because it utilizes everything I've said perfectly. Its pacing is near perfect. Looking at this scene alone, we can see moments of the anime leap in action. The suspense of Maul pacing back and forth until the moment the ray shields drop and Obi-Wan explodes into battle. The saber lock leading into Maul's deadly force push. From there, the fight slows down with all hope seemingly lost until Obi-Wan does a literal anime leap to chop Maul in half. The fight feels like an extremely fast roller coaster with huge drops, sharp turns, and a crazy finale at the end. Also, look at the camera work, mostly wide angle shots, long takes, and minimal cuts. Even when it cuts to a close up, we still understand what's happening, while also getting a closer look at the character's facial expressions. At all times, we know what's going on in this fight. It's actual perfection. Not to mention lighting, set design, and choreography are all flawless. We all know Ray Park is a legendary swordsman, and it's obvious Ewan trained relentlessly to keep up with his speed. It got to a point where Ewan and Rey fought so fast and so precise, the crew didn't think the audience would believe it's real. And of course, we gotta hand it to Nick Gillard for essentially inventing the lightsaber combat we all know and love today. And guess what? After the amazing work Gillard did for episodes 2 and 3, he was not invited back to work on the sequel films by Disney. Coincidence? I think not! Gillard actually said working for Lucasfilm was like family. When you work on a big studio based picture, it just isn't like that. Disney really f***ed this up for us, didn't they? Well, at least this fight is perfect. From the cinematography, editing, music, oh my god, I didn't even mention how perfect the music is. Obviously, Duel of Fates will be playing at my funeral, but notice how most of this fight has no music, letting the clashes really drive into your soul. 
The music is reserved for significant moments like this. And this. You know, moments that really emphasize the gigantic emotional significance of this fight. This duel has so much going for it story-wise. Before this, the Jedi were chilling in a time of peace. The Sith were thought to be extinct, and all disputes in the galaxy were handled pretty well. Hell, this whole beef with the Trade Federation probably didn't even trip anyone out over at the Jedi Temple. That is until this motherfucker shows up and tries to run over a kid. And then he shows up again and hits these two with this shit. The first real lightsaber duel in a thousand years then ensues. The 2v1 is going alright, until... This right here is the reason I rewatched this fight time after time. I can only imagine what Obi-Wan is thinking in this moment. He knows he's not as strong as Qui-Gon, yet the only thing on his mind is to avenge his master. He's got blood in his eyes and does not hesitate to go at Maul with every fiber in his being. Thematically, it makes sense why Obi-Wan would be using anger in this fight as he's still a Padawan. I just love these close-up shots of his aggressive face. But Maul takes advantage of this anger to position Obi-Wan to be forced into a hole. It's here that we see Obi-Wan transition from a Padawan to the master we know him as, when he calms himself for his final calculated attack against Maul. And it works. See how the little details of the fight all line up with the overarching plot? It's poetry in fucking motion! That about wraps up my convoluted rant on lightsaber duels. If you made it this far, thank you for sticking with me. I'd love to hear your thoughts on modern lightsaber duels and also tell me what your favorite duel is. I'm not gonna judge if it's from the sequels. As much as I complain, I can honestly say I've enjoyed every lightsaber fight I've ever watched. And here's to many more duels to come. Thank you very much for watching my video, and I'll see you next time.